In today's video, I will be showing you step-by-step -step how to install Calyx OS on a Google Pixel using a Mac. Quick disclaimer before we begin, please back up all your data on your phone because this process will completely erase anything stored on it and this stranger on the internet will not be held responsible. So the device I'll be demonstrating this on today is a Google Pixel 5 but this process should be the same for any other devices supported by Calyx OS. The only thing I've done on the phone so far is walk through the initial setup and now I'm sitting at the home screen. So the first thing you wanna do is make your way on over to calyxos.org. Links will be down below in the description. Once you get to the page, go ahead and click on get Calyx OS in the top right hand corner. As I mentioned earlier, this is a Pixel 5. I'm going to be installing on Mac OS today or using Mac OS. It'd probably be useful to give this a read over, but I'm not gonna cover this in the video. I'm just gonna skip down to the prepare your Android device section. So the first part on here is enable developer options. So we're going to swipe up, go into settings, scroll down to about phone, scroll down, and you need to tap build number seven times until you become a developer. You should see you are now a developer. Once you see that, we can head on to the next step. Hit the back button. The next step is to enable USB debugging. So for that, we're gonna head into system, developer options, scroll down. When you see debugging, USB debugging, enable that. Allow USB debugging, click okay. And the last step is to enable OEM unlocking. Scroll up, enable OEM unlocking. Quick warning, click enable. So a quick notice they have on the site, this step might fail if there's no internet connection. In that case, connect to a Wi-Fi network and remove the SIM card. So if OEM unlocking is grayed out for you or you're not able to enable it, more than likely you just need to connect to Wi-Fi and that option should become available. Or you have a Verizon-based Google Pixel, in which that case OEM unlocking is not supported and you cannot install Calyx OS. So now that we have the Android device prepared, we're going to scroll down to the prepare your host computer. The first step is to download device flasher.darwin. Go ahead and click on that. So we can see the next step here, save this executable to a new directory where you also save Calyx OS image. By default, this goes to your downloads folder. So I'm gonna open my downloads folder, right click new folder. Name this whatever you want, it does not matter. Move that file into there. So this next step is optional. This is just for verifying the integrity of the device flasher.darwin file that we downloaded. Like I said, this step is optional, so if you're not able to get it to work, don't worry. I'll continue in a moment. I'm just gonna demonstrate how to do it first. So I'm gonna open up terminal. We need to change directory to where that download is residing, so CD. To my home directory, downloads, Calyx OS, hit enter. We can type ls on the keyboard to see the file. And we can see down there, we're going to use sha sum a256. Then the file name, was which is, which is device flasher.darwin, hit enter. So we can see here the hash of the file that we downloaded matches the hash of the file on the site. So that does confirm that the file is not corrupted and it is not the incorrect file. So now that optional step is completed. We're gonna scroll down to a download factory image. So go ahead and click download Calyx OS. So this image is around 1.5 gigabytes. So depending on your internet speed, the download time will vary. So once that download finishes, we can see here, do not extract or rename the zip file. So we're gonna go back to our downloads folder. Here we have the redfin-factory download, 1.57 gigabytes. I'm just gonna drag this to the Calyx OS folder that we created earlier. Go inside there, here's both the files again. The next step, again, this is optional, but this will just verify the integrity of the file we downloaded. So if you still have terminal open, this time we're gonna run sha sum dash a256 and then the redfin.zip enter this will take a little bit longer because it's a larger file and once that completes we can compare that to the one down below and we see that those are a match so the next step is actually to verify the image signature i'm actually going to go ahead and skip this step but if you want to perform that they do have the instructions here so now at this point we're actually ready to install calyx os on our phone so we can see the first step is to connect the USB cable between the computer and Android device. So at this point in time, I am not a bougie YouTuber and only have one camera. 
You cannot screen record while flashing the ROM on the device. So I'm gonna switch my main camera to the phone so you can see what's going on. And we're back. So as you can see here, I went ahead and completed step one. The USB cable is connected to the Android device. Step number two, run device flasher. So at this point, you need to go ahead and open up terminal if you don't have it open from earlier. So this might require a little bit of terminal knowledge and some commands, but we will get through it together. Again, I'll have a link down below that'll lead out to a site that'll have a list of all the commands so you can copy and paste them or use them for reference there. So to see the current directory that we are in, we need to type pwd for print working directory, enter. We are in slash users Joshua. On your machine, it should be your username. Now to get to the downloads folder, we're going to do cd space tilde, which is just a reference to your home directory, forward slash, and then I placed mine in my downloads folder. Yours should be similar by default. And then Calix OS. I'm gonna start typing CAL and hit tab to autocomplete. And now hit enter. If we type LS for list files, we could see the device flasher and redfin factory.zip. So the first part is to run chmod plus x device flasher. What this will do is make the device flasher.darwin executable so we can execute it on our machine. So type chmod plus x. DE, hit tab to autocomplete, hit enter. At this point, we can now run device flasher. So to do that, we're gonna do dot forward slash device flasher, again, tab to autocomplete, hit enter. And more than likely, you will see this warning from Gatekeeper on Mac OS. They cannot verify this app, that it is free from malware. So to bypass this, click cancel, go into your system settings or system preferences, select security and privacy and down here you'll see this device dash flasher dot darwin was blocked from use because it was not from an identified developer we want to use this so click allow anyway go ahead and close out system preferences now we're going to run this again so just hit the up arrow on your keyboard to bring up the latest command and hit enter we can now see this warning again but we do now have the open button so go ahead and click open and we can now see extracting redfin.zip downloading some extras that it needs, extracting. So this first part is what we've already done, connect to Wi-Fi, enable developer options, USB debugging, OEM unlocking. We've already done that. If you haven't, double check, make sure you did. Once you have, go ahead and click enter. Make sure your device is connected to your computer via a USB cable. One other thing I forgot, make sure your phone is unlocked so you can see that you get this allow USB debugging warning. Select always allow from this computer, click allow. You might've seen this where it says press enter to exit, no devices to be flashed because we were blocking it with allow USB debugging. Hit enter, hit the up arrow, run this again. Run through this all again. Again, hit enter. We can now see that it found our device, detected Redfin, devices to be flashed, press enter. This step we can see, please use the volume and power keys on the device to unlock the bootloader. So if you take a look at the screen, let me zoom in a little bit. We are attempting to unlock the bootloader and you can see the current option says, do not unlock the bootloader. So hit the volume button on the right side. That should change to unlock the bootloader. Now hit the power button, which is right next to the gray square right there. And now the bootloader unlock process will begin. We can now see device state unlocked, which means the bootloader has been unlocked. We can see that the Calyx OS device flasher is starting to do its thing. At this point, we're just going to sit back and wait for a few. The screen gives you some details on it as well. At this point, I'm gonna fast forward and hopefully our device is successfully flashed at the end. It's also important to note, do not do anything while this is happening. This process, you could mess it up so you might see the screen turn on like this, but just ignore it, let the phone do its thing. So now that the install has completed, the last step is to actually relock the bootloader on the phone for security reasons. We can now see the yellow text on the screen saying to please use the volume and power keys to lock the bootloader. So same step as earlier. We're going to hit the volume button. We can see a change to lock the bootloader. Hit the power button. 
Once that is completed, you will see green locked down below. We can now see terminal updated and confirmed that everything has completed. And they're also saying to disable OEM unlocking from developer options after setting up your device. So once this finishes, we'll go ahead and complete that. I will give Calyx some credit. This animation is pretty fun. So on the main screen, just go ahead and click next, next, change the time zone, next, add Wi-Fi if you want. I'm going to skip this for now. SIM card, I don't have one in this phone. Location, disable if you want to. Fingerprint, skip. Pin code, skip, but you should set this up on your device. So this next screen is referencing MicroG, which is an open source implementation of Google services. This is that compatibility layer that ensures that all apps work as expected since the actual Google services are not installed on the device. So personally, I think you should leave this enabled. One of the perks of Calyx OS is that MicroG is built in like this. If you don't want to use MicroG, there's other ROMs out there that are better suited than for privacy. So go ahead and leave that enabled. Click next. So these are just some additional apps that can be installed. Go through these, see if you want any of them. I'm going to unselect them just so it doesn't take long to go to the next step. Click next. I'm not restoring from a backup, so I'm going to skip. Click start. Pretty funny background. And the last step, as we saw in the instructions and terminals, to disable OEM unlocking from developer tools. So we're going to swipe up, go into settings, scroll down, system. If you don't see developer options, that's because we need to enable it first. So go back. Go to about phone, scroll down, tap on build number a bunch of times until it says you are now a developer. Click back, system, advanced, developer options. And it looks like OEM unlocking is already disabled, so we don't need to do that. So at this point, you have successfully installed Calyx OS on your Google Pixel device.